Mario. Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover and welcome to Let's Replay Super Mario 64. Now, oh man, it feels like just yesterday when I did the original LP of this game. And fun fact, I think near the end of this, uh, the original playthrough was the start of me using an actual capture card. So, yeah, there's your little trivia for t uh, today's episode. And just to start off, you can rotate Mario to the right analog stick and just mess around with all these different things like his mustache, his hat, his nose. It's fun little stuff you can mess around with. So, yeah. And it's not the only time there was like a disembodied uh, Mario head. There's actually like, I think it was Mario Teacher's Typing that had one. And it was just him say a weird, creepy looking Mario face just saying a bunch of random stuff. So, you know, that was a thing. Um, and I'm actually playing this on the Wii Virtual Console. Um, thing is, I don't have my, uh, N64, uh, N64, like, connected to my capture card, and I don't really know how to set that up right now, um, right now, considering, like, there's just wires everywhere. As you, as you could see, the, uh, area behind my TV, it's just wires all over the place, and it's hard to figure out which is which, uh, what wire goes where and all that, so... To avoid screwing everything up, I just try avoiding messing around with that as much as I can. But with that said, we're going to go and starting with Mario D, because we're going to get the D. <laughs> or, the, or the V, I guess, more so. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's -a go. Ciao, you've reached Princess Toad's Tools Castle via Warpipe. Using the controller as a piece of cake, press A to jump and B to attack. Yep. Press B to read signs. Two. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Yeah, now head for the castle. Alright. So, first things first, you can, I think you can find a one-up in one of these trees. Uh, I'm not going to bother looking for that, so let's just move on. Good afternoon, the Likitu bros are here. Reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll, we'll buzz to take a look. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and press C up. Press A to resume play. Da -da -da, yeah. Alright, so... The whole C button thing, that's actually not true for this control method I'm using. So, basically, in the original version, uh, you have to press left and right C to move the camera around. Uh, down and up change, like, the how much you want to zoom into Mario. And the, if you do up more, then you do, like, this little close-up view. It's not exactly first person, but still. And, yeah. And also, changing... Welcome, no one's home. Now get lost and don't come back. <laughs> well then, I don't certain, I certainly don't feel welcome now. Oh, I'm gonna leave. Okay, I'm kidding. But no, <laughs> the um, R button uh, basically goes into Mario mode and 
it's not really used used that m useful for that many th that many things. It's very situational, uh, so we're not going to be using that for that uh, that much that many times throughout the game. But there will be a few times when it's necess necessary. But yeah, um, <laughs> so many text boxes. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting world. First, talk to the bomb buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just talk to this guy. You wander around here, you're... Yeah. Alright. Do you say anything? Can I talk with A? No. Okay, we can't even do the uh, cannon mission. Like, those guys, sometimes they, uh, well, most of the time anyway, the bob on buddies will activate a cannon in the level. And you're going to use those quite a few times throughout the game. And they, they can be helpful to getting a bunch of stars. Now, you're probably thinking, like, why am I doing this right now? Well... You don't actually have to go through the objective that the star tells you. You can actually go through through the the course, go for any star you pl any star you please, really. And so that's one thing I really do like about this game that really no other Mario game uh, has to the same extent. Um, but anyways, you've recovered one of the stolen power stars, and you can open some of the sealed doors of the castle. Try to visit. Yeah, yeah. There won't be that many text boxes later on, but yeah, we just started, so it's gonna be a bit, quite a bit of that. So, anyways, though, we're actually gonna do what we're supposed to do and get to the top of the mountain. So, you go over here, teleporter. So yeah, I, I'm gonna not necessarily be trying to speed run, but I'll, I'll be doing some. Tricks here and there, and I can't believe I didn't take damage. <laughs> but yeah. Right, let me see if I can do this. It's like, wall jump up here. I don't know how you angle this right. Because I know you can, like, wall jump up here. And, like. I almost had it. Not angled right. Oh, yes! Okay. That was sick. I've never done that before, but I've seen people do that and I wanted to give it a go. So, yay! I'm going. Oh my gosh, okay. I can wall jump up the wall, up that area, but I can't go up here. Seems legit. But yeah. I'm the big, I'm the big bomb, -bomb. Lord of all blasting matter. King of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp, and you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the if you want ugh. if you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you beat me? You talk too much. <laughs> Shut up. Ah <laughs> uh, man. Was well, so I like this in this game? When you're too far away, look at Mario's like. Low poly face is amazing. Oh, come on. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not a uh, like a crazy speed runner necessarily, but I do know a few tricks here and there. I do know how to be pretty speedy. So you know, I'll try getting through the game as fast as I can. But. It's not going to be AGDQ worthy or anything like that, just to let you guys know. But you know. After playing this game for so many years, I kind of have to learn some stuff. What? Can it be like. Can it be that a pip, pip squeak like you has defused the Bilbon King? You know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to see you again. Alright. I 
Okay. Now we should be able to get to the the uh, Bowen body should let us uh, open the cannons. No, this one. Come on. Okay, here we go. That's what I want. All right, we're not going to be using this cannon. We're not going to be using that one, but we go over here. That's this little uh, up this little bridge here. Also, those exclamation mark boxes. We're not going to be using those for a little bit, but they'll come in handy later. They're basically the closest you'll get to power-ups in this game. There are no fire flowers or cape feathers or anything like that, which I I can understand that being a little bit disappointing for some, but I don't really think this game needs it too much. Like, it would be nice, but I I think the game's fine as it is with those uh, like boxes that gives you diff that do different things. They're very situational compared to previous games. Which I can I can imagine it's not um, everyone's cup of tea when it comes to items in Mario, but hey. Now we're gonna have to race Cooper the Quick. Alright. Now, I don't know if you can actually use any teleporters this time, so I'm gonna not do that just to be safe, but I'm... Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Alright, let me see if we can just get above them to chase me somewhere around here. No, I don't do that. No! Yeah, that didn't work. Get up here. Come on. No, uh, no. Yeah, no, this is the boss. Let's just reset. No, th th this ain't gonna work. Alright, yeah, every time you reset, you go back, back to the that little area, which can be a bit of a pain when you're really far away from it. But, thankfully, Peach's Castle isn't too big. So. But that was stuck. That was just a terrible fail. But yeah, just talking. It, this game uh, was was back when. Um, well, obviously it was back when I was really young, and it was one of the first video games I played. Like I remember um, back in those days, I. Um, I basically started gaming with the N64. Like, I don't, I don't own a Sega Gen uh, Mega Drive. This is what we call them over here. I don't want to pick you up, but yeah. And then Pokemon Stadium, Mario 64, and Ocarina of Time were all games that um, kind of got me into gaming. Like, um, I think there were, I think that that would that uh, would be considered like a pretty good uh, starting. Uh, starting point for gaming, like, uh, the first 3D Mario game that revolutionized gaming in a similar way that uh, Mario 1 did, but for 2D, or, but for 3D games instead, and I'm cutting this really close. I'm not usually this slow with this. I really shouldn't have gone up there like that, but yeah, and then Ocarina of Time, that was revolutionary, revolutionary in its own way, and it was a it's also uh, an excellent game in its own right, um, and you know, Pokemon Stadium wasn't really revolutionary in any way, but it was cool seeing all the Pokemon's moves in full 3D. I'm not the I wasn't the biggest Pokemon fan back then. I'm I'm still technically not now. I have more I have more interest in the series, but I'm not like a diehard fan or anything like that. But um, I do respect. Uh, Pokemon as a series, but um, 
yeah, had a lot, a lot of fun playing uh, that with uh, siblings, especially. That was the highlight for that, uh, for that game, really. Uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, I got that from Callum. Uh, you don't know that he used to be called Lego Mario Gamer back in the early days of my channel. Um, that I cringe going back to, but um, yeah, he used to be called that. He's, I don't know if he's still called Apprentice of Games or not. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but either way though, um, yeah, he gave me Pokemon Stadium 2, which I didn't really uh, have much. Um, well, I, I was a lot older uh, by that point, obviously, so I didn't spend that much time playing that with siblings. I still played uh, played it with them a little bit when I could, but it was no nowhere near as much, and it's kind of sad because I think overall, from what I've played, Pokemon Stadium 2, I, I'd say, is the better, better game as a whole. But um, yeah, those get those three games. Pokemon Stadium, this game, and Ocarina of Time were the main three games that got me into gaming as a whole, and because of that, I hold those games in much, a um, very high regard, like, they have problems, and I'll, oh my gosh, <laughs> well, okay, before I continue my story there, um, that, that's a little thing you can do, like, if the, if the bomb is about to explode, you can pick it up, and you'll just have, like, You'll just be holding a giant bob bomb in your hands, and it's pretty funny. But, um, yeah. So, I, I... With that said, I hold these three games in much high... Very high regard. I know a lot of people do. Maybe not Pokemon Stadium, but definitely this and Ocarina. But, um, yeah. I love these games growing up. I still love them to this day. I know that this game hasn't aged the best. Like, the, uh... The controls are... A, a bit slippery in a, in a in some ways like uh, the wall jumping isn't the greatest sometimes because you ha you can't you don't slide off walls you have to jump as soon as you hit the wall and then you wall jump um, that's a bit of an um, an annoyance um, I don't know I, th there's not a lot I can think of right now but I do uh, understand that this game hasn't aged the greatest but I, I still really love I still really love this game like it, it I had a lot of fun with it back then as a kid I still love it to this day and it's just so easy for me to pick up and play like I can just pick up any point at any point during the dur during the day and just have a great time with it like there's nothing more to it than that really like um I, I understand that the controls nowadays aren't the greatest and it's not not everyone's gonna enjoy playing it but you know back then it was it was so great for its time as again one of the one of the first 3d platformers and basically the first that uh, kind of set the standard for 3d games in general like Without, without this game, we probably wouldn't have all the games we have today in the same quality. Like, games definitely, games in the future definitely do stuff better than this game. But you know, Mario 64 started, started the whole trend, I guess. And games after it just kind of expanded upon it, which is, which was kind of the point of it, the whole thing. So, you know, I really do respect Nintendo and this game for what it did for the in industry because without it who knows how gaming would be like so yeah <laughs> I don't know if there are any other games like oh yeah Banjo Kazooie as well that was also a really ch a massive childhood gem um, I don't know if it was in the same time frame uh, of this Ocarina and Pokemon Stadium it may have been, but I kind of want to believe that it was after those three. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. That game I really love as well, as you probably know that by this point I have. Because I've done a... Uh, it was it? A Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie LP. And I've gushed how much I've loved Tooie. 
Um, which, if you've seen that playthrough, I think I explained that Tui I didn't get until much later, which crushed me inside, because I really wanted to play that game. But, you know, I we weren't that uh, well going back then. Like, I wouldn't say we were necessarily, like, super poor or anything, but... We weren't, like, rich either, like, uh, we could, we could only afford so many games and so many consoles, so, um, we weren't, like, it's not like today where I have, like, what, over, what, over six game consoles, like, yeah, I have six consoles in this room right now, so, yeah, I was nowhere, my family was nowhere near as, uh, well going, back then as they are now, so, you know, over time things got better, I got more consoles, got into more games, and, can you please, oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, if you don't bring out the coin, are you, but yeah, uh, got into more games, got into Crash Bandicoot and a bunch of PS1 games, like, I remember, uh, the Toy Story... Do, does anyone else remember the Toy Story 2 game on the PS1? That was a great uh, license game. One of the best I played. Because uh, I... I don't know, it was just a fun experience. There was a lot of vertical platforming, which, which can be a bit frustrating when, once you fall, but I just like... Um, getting... I, ju I just like climbing up to high, higher places and whatnot. Not in real life. <laughs> Let me clarify that. In gaming, I like to get uh, reach high places, but not in real life. I have a very extreme sense of vertigo, if that's the right word to call it. Like, I'm afraid of heights, like, no one's business. Like, if I go to a high place and I look down and I'm, like, really high up, I kind of just silently panic a little bit inside. Like, I don't... I don't usually sh show it outright to people, but it's something that, uh, I kind of, I'm just kind of afraid of heights. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say, but yeah. How can I, uh, let's, ju let's just use a cannon. I'm not taking any chances. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. Alright, uh... I wanna get 70... Okay, okay. I need one more. So I'm gonna get the red coin, then we can get the 100 coin star as well. There we go. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna get 100 coin stars, usually on the 8 red coin mission, but sometimes we're gonna... Sometimes it's gonna be a bit different. Just depends, really. Okay. <laughs> you can just drop down, I guess. Alright. But yeah, this is 100%. 100 so we're gonna get all 120 stars. Alright, uh... It would be nice if I could see where I'm aiming. But yeah, technically speaking, the first... I think the first game I saw was Mean Bean Machine. I say I think because I was really young back then. I, like, I'm talking like being like, what, one, two, maybe? Um, just, wait, no, I shouldn't even go, shouldn't even, even gone back. I can't even, I can technically do this, but it's not really, uh, it doesn't really work the greatest, so I'm not gonna bother. 